After being humbled in the first ODI, India came out all guns blazing in a must-win game to take the ODI series into a decider. Here are five reasons why India beat Australia by 36 runs in Rajkot. At number five, India's top three lay a solid platform. Put into bat in a crucial match, India's top three ensured that the team has a strong foundation to post a big first innings total. Rohit Sharma and Shikhar Dhawan got India off to a steady start with a runner ball opening stand of 81, 55 of which came in the first power play. Once Rohit fell in the 14th over, Kohli came in to bat at his customary number three position and added 103 runs with Shikhar Dhawan at a strike rate of over 100. Both Dhawan and Kohli registered half centuries in good time to give the innings enough impetus to post a total in excess of 300. At number four, Australia seamers have an off day. After starting the series so well in Mumbai, Australia's pacers were nowhere near their best at Rajkot. Pat Cummins was the only one among the seamers who seemed like he could keep India's batsmen in check. Neither Mitchell Stark nor Kane Richardson, though, looked like they could control the Indian batting juggernaut. Both these bowlers went for over seven and over, with Stark registering his second most expensive ODI bowling spell, and he also went wicketless for the first time in his last 15 outings. At number three, India's seamers on target. If Australia's seamers were having an off day, their Indian counterparts fared far better in comparison, especially Jaspreet Bumrah, who bowled an extremely tight opening spell that included two maidens and giving away nothing to the batsmen of the calibre of David Warner, Aaron Finch and Steve Smith. Mohamed Shami and Navdeep Saini weren't as economical but ended up getting more wickets than Bumrah. Shami got Warner early on thanks to a fine catch by Manish Pandey and later ended up squashing Australia's challenge when he got Ashton Turner and Pat Cummins off successive deliveries in the 44th over of the innings. Saini then helped clean up the tail along with Bumrah to dismiss Australia for 304 after failing to pick a single wicket in Mumbai. At number two, Kuldeep's double wicket over. Stephen Smith and Alex Carey were putting together a good stand at better than a runner ball. And given their reputation, India would have been slightly worried, even though the required rate was above nine at the time. Enter Kuldeep Yadav to bowl the 38th over. Kuldeep first dismissed Alex Carey to get to 100 ODI wickets, and three balls later had Smith playing on to a wrong run. This was the 13th time since his debut that Kuldeep had picked multiple wickets in a single over in ODIs, and it effectively killed Australia's appetite for the chase. And at number one, KL Rahul's late overs burst. After coming in at number three in the first ODI in Mumbai, KL Rahul walked in at number five in this game and after Shreya Sayer had been dismissed in the 33rd over of the innings. Rahul, who doesn't have too much experience playing in the middle order, showed no signs of discomfort as he kept the momentum of the innings going till the very end, adding 78 runs with Kohli for the fourth wicket and then 58 with Jadeja for the sixth. Rahul's onslaught helped India add 91 runs in the final 10 overs of their innings, which included 53 of the final five. His 52 ball 80 helped India post a total of 340, which proved more than competitive for the visitors. The stage is set then for the final match of the series in Bengaluru on Sunday, the winner of which will take the three-match ODI series. Make sure you catch our preview to that game with Deep Das Gupta on ESPN Cricket for Match Day.